Hey YouTube, Fire Flash here, coming at you with a Hot Wheels haul video. But first, we'll put a matchbox in the picture. This is a matchbox that I found. It is from the D case, I think. It is the Lamborghini Gallardo LP560-4 police car. It's very, very nice. Nice to find it. Um... But that is the only new matchbox I have found for a long time. And the only one that I was interested in. Now, I did a trade with uh, a local collector that I've mentioned several times. Uh, he actually met up with another local collector. And um, through one of my spares, he managed to get me a spear from this collector. Now, basically, my parameter was anything realistic. I uh, didn't care what it was. Um, and this was the end result. The Nissan Skyline Super Treasure Hunt. So I'll let that focus for a bit. Now, that is very, very, very pretty. Um, I haven't bothered uh, really going back in time to get any supers from pre-2012 when they started the hidden concept because I see the treasure hunts, the supers, I mean, they're just the same car but sort of nicer and now I think I'm a convert. This, this is magnificent. And a, a quick shot of the base there. So that was very, very nice to uh, trade. I traded the Super Sandblaster that I randomly found uh, a few months ago for this. Excellent deal in my opinion. And then we have my most expensive Hot Wheels purchase ever. Saw this on uh, Trade Me, which is a local uh, store. And... Uh, what made it even worse is that I purchased this and another item at the same time, uh, making it very, very expensive. Uh, what I got was a custom auto commemorative edition from the 40th anniversary. So uh, absolutely gorgeous. It is, of course, a, uh, a fantasy car, but uh, racing tempos, which just look fantastic um does have a metal i think it's metal body metal base not 100 percent sure uh rubber tires uh no details on the front or rear though that's a bit unfortunate but uh very very nice and there is a bit of a bio on the back there about how people got this so i'll let you guys pause that so uh i got that um, the only issue is that it is slightly loose just down there, but I will keep it in a Protecto pack. And from the same seller, I picked up this bad boy. This is the 70 Dodge Hemi Challenger from the 14th Annual Hot Wheels Collectors Nationals in Oak Brook, Illinois. I have no idea where that is in the world, but uh, I have a thing for um, Dodge Challengers. I'm not a Mopar, I'm not a, you know, other brand cars. I, I just happen to really, really like uh, Dodge Challengers. It's, uh, it's the only car that I've, uh, I've opened a few of. Um, so this is fantastic. It's got uh, very nice uh, detailing. This is uh, a limited to 2000, and there's my number. And there's some more legal mumbo jumbo. Now, interesting to note that this was made in the 12th week of 2014, which puts it pretty close to uh, uh, roughly a month out from, from that date yet uh you know no, nothing wrong with this at all whereas those redline club cars um made earlier and you know the, the condition of those anyway ranted enough about those uh rlc club cars 
Um, so that is my haul, Hot Wheels haul for, for this week. Uh, maybe a few more things uh, coming in uh, the rest of the week. But uh, that is it for now. So thanks for watching and bye for now.